That was a hunt. That was fun. It was a fun. That was fun. That was fun. Woo. That was a call him and kill him, baby. That was. Good stuff. Good job. Awesome. Good job. <laughs> that was fun. Turkey season 23, episode 11, about to come at you. And we're going to a couple different states with a variety of different tactics. I'm gonna start out with a timber hunt, then we're gonna go with Doc Haskell, then Coon Dog, then Doc Haskell again. Four different hunts across two different states, and it's always one of our favorite times of the year. Once you get into the latter part of April, April 20th through 28th, right in there, we usually have a fantastic time because we have the ability to hunt both Iowa and Missouri the same day and uh, I think you'll see why we love this time of the year so much. Jared and Henry were up and we wanted to focus on Henry getting his first Eastern and we were able to make that happen. Then his dad, Jared, doubled. And wouldn't you know, we had a little extra time before the end of the Missouri season. So we went to a different farm, got on a turkey and uh, rest is history, timber kill, man, you gotta love them. We're working down this little area, hearing one bird, two others strike up and uh, it was just a classic hunt. <laughs> In my opinion, they're coming because they came from out of hearing into hearing. So we're going to get down in there with them. That was a hunt. Yeah, that was fun. It was a hunt. That was fun. That was fun. Woo. That was a call them and kill them, baby. That was. That was so much fun. Oh, here you're at. <laughs> that was fun. That's turkeys in the timber, and that's that's the old old fashioned way. Yeah. King of the spring, sound of spring, yeah. call them in and kill them. You know, we do so much to get the best turkey footage we can. We do, over the decoys, whatever we can do. We've had so many, you know, point of view kills and everything else, but that's the way I learned to turkey out. That's the way Perry learned to turkey out. And that's the way I've, I've always done it. You know, find a bird, call him up and kill him. But in a lot of ways, I don't want to say this is easier, but I find the challenge harder to get them in close and get them as tight as they are. This, where you call them in, shut up, let them come looking for you is a blast but typically we like the open fields and we like getting them in our face and getting great footage. But every once in a while, it's nice to go old school and get one of the timber. Congrats. That was fun. Doesn't get any better than that. It, really it does not. Woo, that was fun. 
Well, here we are from a northern Missouri timber. So often you see us out in an open field with avians out, and this one, we got in the timber with them, called them in, started to slow the calling down, they closed the distance, and I got the shot. It's probably not the cleanest kill we've ever had. I had my Tacticam running, the 6.0, Perry had it on the camera, and uh, it, it takes me back to when we first started King of the Spring, the Sound of Spring. Probably not the prettiest kill we've ever laid down, but the moment was awesome. Myself and Perry out here enjoying it in the timber, and uh, they just rocked it all the way in. That deer kind of boogered us up because the deer came in, started snorting and calmed them down, but they still came in and gave me a shot. I was lucky to make the shot. We've had so much luck so far here in Missouri. Terry killed, Forrest killed, Scott and Matt doubled, Dustin Lynch killed, and now I'm on the board. Fun, fun stuff out here in the timber. Gosh, that was awesome. One of the things I did, I don't know how much you ran on our way when we first struck them, but I yelp my way all the way to them, and that's a tactic that I've used for years, and a lot of people will tell you, don't do that, but I've found the opposite. Like, I think it gets them it gets them going. Like, they hear that hen closing in, and, it, and then if you get them coming at all, and that hen's going to those, you just gotta know when to sit down and, and stop, because it sure gets them fired up. It's exactly what we did with these. Two new ones struck up, and we ended up making it happen, so. Good stuff. Turkey season is here and DeerCast has you covered. Use maps to mark your hunting spots, roost trees, strut zones, and more. And prep for your hunts with our advanced weather tracking and wind tools. Prep, predict, and pursue with DeerCast. We were in here last year, only found one turkey goblin on the whole farm. Brand new piece of dirt. And um, this year, there was food plots put on it and According to the trail pictures, there's quite a few turkeys in here. So Doc's up to bat, he just got here. I just got freed up to where we can go together. They've had some good hunting already in Missouri, got close, but we're gonna go see if we can get a little closer for that uh, Winchester. Try to seal the deal. Let's do it. Smell the drill, Doc. Oh no, it hit him a little bit. Yeah, sitting wide open in a pillow. I, was, I knew I was crowding that scope a little oh, bit. Shoot. <laughs> Look at here. Congrats. Hey there, man. Hey! hey. <laughs> what you do? Didn't listen to Mark hit you? Oh, I, went I went turkey hunting and the hockey match broke out. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, patients are going to wonder what happened. They might know, though. There will be enough of them to know. <laughs> what about a dog? Perfect for the boy. He came was close, close, close. Yeah. I love it. Oh. And they, they, were keep, they were still coming. They were still coming. He shot them. Boom. Oh, I, I heard the, I heard the boom. Heck yeah. Good job, dog. Oh, man. That was awesome. Congrats, dog. 
Nice work. Thank you, Mark. Thank you once again. Nothing beats this is the best way to start spring. Congratulations. Throw that tag on that big guy. Can get him tagged up. Congratulations, Doc. Well, Mark, thank you once again. Uh, best way I know to start spring out, you know? Absolutely. It's always one of our favorite hunts when you make it up. And he's been lucky to draw this coveted Iowa tag, so it allows us to hunt both morning and evening. And I was late uh, meeting up with the group today because I had some other engagements. And I wanted to make sure that I got to get out and hunt with him. So I'm glad we did this afternoon. And the team got together. Perry spotted some birds. And man, I w we couldn't get here quick <laughs> enough. So yeah. it just worked out perfectly. Congratulations, Doc. That's fun. Hey, you shot him right in the gobble. It was yeah. so awesome watching it through that camera lens. I'll what was it, he, 10 yards? Maybe, yeah, 8 to 10 yards. If that's and so they you're were talking coming. a pattern like that, yeah. you know, that Longbeard XR, you're shooting a, a baseball at that yeah. point, and you, you clobbered. And the other bird was mid gobble. Go. I don't think he heard the uh, shot. No, he didn't hear the shot. He just thought it was part of the gobble because he just kind of looked at the other bird and jumped away. Yeah. So what's going on? What'd really you think is. of it, dog? Oh, I loved it because I just sat back and I watched your guys' body movement. And I knew when Wade was locking in on the camera, I'm going, it's getting time. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. So you hunted in Missouri till one, and then uh, luckily, that's the strategy. He gets both tags, and then we hunt afternoons here in Iowa. So yep. tomorrow, no afternoon hunting, Doc. <laughs> well, I think we got coon dog around for that, don't we? Oh, you start tomorrow? <laughs> no, I'm done. No. no, I'm talking about for Margs. Oh, <laughs> blender, baby, blender. Yes, that's a mic sir. drop from Doc there. <laughs> All right, baby. Congratulations. Job, that was thank fun. you, thank you. Awesome stuff. Congratulations. How about it, boys? Turkey season's here. It is here, finally. <laughs> Some new calls. Absolutely. We got the DOD series, the final roost line. And uh, my favorite by far is probably the box call. You know, on these windy days like today, you get out there and uh, get real loud with it, strike them up at long distance, and uh, cut through that wind. <laughs> And that walnut with that purple heart uh, top just gives you that real henny sound and that's what I like so much about this particular call. Ran a lot of box calls over the year and uh, you know this one I, just gives you that real henny raspy uh, just make some gobble sound. And you know they're gonna gobble to that. <laughs> We've made a lot gobble over the years. Yes we have. Are you gonna make them gobble dog? Well what I do normally in the woods is I'm usually the uh, float caller. So I love the, the full the final roost the I HS here, and it's beautiful. Got the nice little striker. And normally a mark or you or way to get them started and they're coming, coming, coming. I like to sit back and then when I get the signal. Get that soft call on them, that sweet touch. Dog finishes them right off. A lot of people realize that, hey, that's a low call, but trust me, them birds can hear it, hey Dave? <laughs> yes, they can. They does very well. What I love about this ghost tongue from the HS series, the bottom reeds are together, so you get the very high pitched out of this call. But the top, ghost tongue, looks like a tongue. You get very raspy noises on the top end when you're finishing out your yelps. I love a mouth call because when you're in the heat of the moment, maybe you got a camera in your hand, maybe you're behind, you can yelp softly, you can call with a camera in one hand and a mouth call in the other. So go check out the HS DOD Signature Series from HS. Bam, we got you covered. <laughs> It always gets me so excited to see Doc succeed. It was fun, and I knew that I was going to be heading to Utah because Taylor was about to have her baby. So I was happy to be able to share that one afternoon hunt with Doc. I'm flying out. Now, Coon Dog's up to bat. He and Perry are going into a, a known spot where they had worked birds the day before. There were a lot of birds in the area, and you'll hear the wind is up. It's very, very windy. And so rather than continue to move around, they set up in a spot where they knew there was birds and just hoped that these birds could hear them calling and hear them, they did. This is gonna be our one, two, fourth bar. We got on these birds here yesterday. We just got to close the deal. Perry has a game plan. Perry and I decided to go down here and set up another corner and uh, probably spend the rest of the morning here. But uh, there ain't nothing else you can do on a windy day, but it's sunny and nice. Let's go kill. Jake lay down head out, put a few tact cams up, 
get some angles, but uh, finish out the day here in Missouri. It's 10 o'clock now. To the lands, to Mark and Tracy and Taylor and Austin on your baby today. Dog just put down a what would you call it? Baby. A baby turkey bird. <laughs> Congrats, buddy. Yeah, Congrats. Thank you, man. <sighs> Let's go see what the prize has. You never know till you look at them both. Cedars, Osceola, Coleman, 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 Coleman,
couldn't be more excited, man. Just, the avians did their job, of course. And uh, got me a big old gobbler on the ground here in Missouri, first season. Whew, a little bit of breath. The best part about Missouri, you travel with your tag. Legal beagle, baby. The dog is legal beagle. Lightning it can strike twice, and it did today for Perry and I. We came in here yesterday with Doc, and uh, Perry was able to strike three birds. They just wouldn't commit. So we decided to come back here at midday, and by gosh, we were sliding in, and there's a hen already in the field. We sat back, let her ease off, and then we slid into our spot. As we were walking in, it's windy as all heck, but we found a spot along a fence row, big old cedar tree. But uh, it was perfect for the mossy oak, the obsession. We blended in like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, we sat there, did some blind calling a little bit, a little box calling. Perry was yelping a little bit, and Lord and behold, we heard a gobble and out stepped these birds. Couldn't be more excited. Uh, the bird, one, this bird was starting to fade off a little bit. Perry yelped at it, turned it, and the avians did the rest. Could not be more excited. When he got up to the decoys, his buddy decided to show up, strutting in, but guess what? The old Winchester put this bad boy down before his buddy could join the party. Most important, this turkey right here bit the dust on the birth of Taylor and Austin's baby. I could not be more excited. I will remember this date forever. Stuff like that sticks to the dog. And uh, happy for everybody. Congrats. Mark, Tracy, the lands. Awesome. Austin and Tay, enjoy what's coming to you guys. It's going to be a roller coaster. Love you guys. Well, <clears throat> our original roost setup did not go as planned. So we got the truck, got to a different farm, worked our way back here, and there's a couple different birds that just gobbled over this roll from us. So we go figure out where they're at, figure out a setup on them. Well, we got a feedlot behind us, so the cow noise is loud, and there's a big hill that I mean, these turkeys are over. So I'm gonna go up over the rise a little bit, call at them, hopefully get them charged up to get them back to where we need them.
Come through the beans, popping those little heads up in yeah. the periscope thing. And they all squared up. It looked like the offensive line coming at them. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. Congrats. That was awesome. That was awesome. That's Congratulations. That was awesome. When we came up here, you could just barely hear them down the rise. Yep. We had these cows getting fed over the hill behind us and yeah. could barely hear them. But they kept sounding like they were getting closer and closer. Pays to be patient. Yeah. Yep. Went over the hill, gave them a little yelps. And they sounded really loud when I was over the road and I came back over and I got here and we could barely hear them. And they slowly, cow, 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 coming up, got quiet, and then Wade said, here they are, nice, yeah. seen heads right after that. Gave us a nice chance to get tucked into these cedars. Right they had here. no idea we were here, we're in the shade. Perfect. They're out in the sun, put on a nice show for us. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. That Good was job, awesome. Dog. What do you think, dog? Dead turkey. <laughs> Turkey, John. Yeah, that's a good bird. Very good. One in good. Iowa, one in Missouri. Yeah. Good way to start the spring. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Congratulations, dog. Well, I'm tagged out for now. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you want to get your notch your tag? Yeah, I'm going to get my app out. Use it. That Missouri State app is pretty slick. Yeah. Doc, Missouri Turkey Down, congratulations. Uh, thank you guys so much. It's been a great morning. Yeah. April 23rd here in Missouri. Last day, last day of the first full week of the season. Yeah, your last day here up with us. And we started on a roost hunt that didn't work out. I think the neighbors had a good hunt. And uh, we uh, switched farms, got on some hot birds, and here we are. Boy, and you know, at first, it, the train up here lays a little funny. We barely heard them. Yep. At first, we just heard a couple hens. Yep. And we pressed on into the farm here and could barely hear these guys, but they decided they were close enough. Yep, some deep holes, and they uh, and we end up getting them to come up out of them. What do you think, dog? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, when you guys said they were coming, I was like, okay, I'll get ready a little bit. And I did, and all of a sudden, there they were. So it was awesome. I mean, five long beards coming in at once. That's all a, like this. That's a <laughs> pretty special parade we had there. Yeah, a beautiful good. Sunday morning here in northern Missouri. Just awesome hunts all the way around. You gotta love turkey season. And I always say I like to deer hunt, but love to turkey hunt. It's why we started Drury Outdoors back in 1989. And that, uh, that fire is still alive inside. And it's exciting to see everyone else on the team have that same excitement. Of course, Terry and I have loved it for well over three decades, but you look at Forrest and Chad and Chris and Matt and Scott and Perry and Wade and Coon Dog and the, the whole cast within turkey season here. Everybody loves it and that passion burns burns brightly. It's almost sad to see our finale coming in episode 12, but next week will be the final one of the season. And uh, we've already put some, some great hunts in the can that we'll release early during the spring next year. But we sure appreciate everybody that's tuned in here on YouTube or on DeerCast or the lives we've done on Facebook or the reels we've put out there. We appreciate everybody taking the time to watch our content. We sure love laying it down for you. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For more turkey content, check out our legendary series, King of the Spring, on the MOTV app today.